welcome back to Live Laugh Birds, where we live and laugh with birds. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to teach your bird to target and then how to use that to teach your bird to spin around. And even if you don't wanna teach your bird tricks, target training is very, very helpful for any bird because it gets them where you want them to go. So if you're trying to teach your bird to go back in their cage or to fly to you on command, target training will help you and set you up for success. The concept of target training is very simple. It is just getting your bird to follow and touch a target object. That target object is usually going to be a chopstick. Also, you're going to need a tree that the bird really likes and wants to work for. At first, the bird might not know exactly what to do when you put the stick in front of them, but hopefully they'll get curious and they'll want to test it out. Target? Good bird! As soon as they touch the stick, you wanna pull it away so they don't start to chew on the stick and then give them a big reward. Pearl, target? Good bird. Now after the bird knows that what they need to do is touch the stick, what you can do is move it a little bit away from the bird and have the bird reach out or have to initiate touching the stick. Target? Good bird. Target? Good bird. So basically, just get the bird to walk a little further away, and that's all target training is. So today, we are going to teach Pearl to turn around. She just got her refresher on target training yesterday, and we're gonna use that to get Pearl to spin. Target. Good bird. Target. Good bird. Target. Good bird. Target. Good bird. The first step is going to be placing the target stick a little bit behind the bird. So they have to do a half turn. Next I'm going to lure Pearl halfway with the stick and the other halfway with the millet. Now I'm gonna start luring Pearl all the way around in a full circle with just the target stick. Now I just wanna keep repeating the motion of having Pearl turn in a full circle by getting her to follow the target stick. Eventually, the bird will expect what to do and they'll start doing the behavior even without following the target stick exactly. In these next stages, you wanna start phasing out the target stick. So what you can do is put your finger close to the end of the stick. So the bird is still following the stick, but they start getting used to following your finger instead. At this point, the bird should be comfortable following your finger and not having to rely on the target stick to turn around. You can also start introducing a verbal cue such as spin or turn around. Turn around, good bird. Keep repeating having the bird spin around in a circle with just your finger, but start making the motion a little bit faster so the bird isn't following the finger so closely anymore. Turn around, good. Turn around, good bird. What I'm doing next is moving my finger a little bit further away from Pearl because she knows the motions by now and we want to reinforce that cue. Turn around, turn around, turn around, good bird. It might take a few repetitions, but make sure to not reward them when they don't do the trick and reward them when they do it. A good final hand signal for this trick is this sort of motion. Turn around. Good. At this point, Pearl has fully understood the concept of turning around. It's a perfect first trick to teach a bird if they're not super experienced with training, and it's overall a very fun and easy trick to teach your bird. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another bird video.